Okay, Beano Black here, folks. It was 1.11 a minute ago, and it's 1.12 Central Time right now. And here's your Aurora South Pole. So basically, if you center the Aurora shot, there's where our tail is wagging right now. And yes, if you look at the seismic graphs, I'm not even going to waste time going to that. You go to that right now, there is action right now all over the Earth right now. And the earthquake is kind of lulled since we had a 4.7 over in, I believe, the Middle East. Okay, because right now there's nothing, nothing on the fresh data, it's still over there. Okay, the reason I'm making this quick video is the idea that we have Mercury, and Venus, Venus is the big, we got Saturn, uh, then we got Mars way off over by, this should be Leo, I believe. I'm getting used to that constellation now. Looks like a swan, but they actually call it Leo like a lion up there. Okay, this is current sky chart, okay? And there's the moon way up high and by the North Pole. Basically, this would be looking at North America again, usually when I pull up a sky chart, okay? So really fast, we go ahead and go to what Soho is showing us, which, yep, they got it upside down, folks. Oh, they just mis make mistakes, right? Well, the number one thing is to look at is I have this blown up 400%. Check that. I'm going to try to blow that up to 1,000% right there, okay? Now, when flipping this around, you pretty much come up with more than likely that this should be Venus, and this should be, I believe, what was it, Mercury? Go to the deal real fast. And, yep, should be Mercury, okay? And then on the other side, we should pretty much more than likely have... And this here is a shot that they gave us at this time here, today. And I'm going to go to Lasco and Lasco 3, which I can see through. But the idea, checking the idea how big this booger is, okay? And now this is the reason, more than likely, that they have this flipped upside down. Because we got a lot of action here. Because when we go to Lasco 3, the image that they're shooting here, well, we're supposed to see everything all the time. And yes... That little sun deal is not actually a fixed thing that's out in front of the deal. Either that or they x-ray vision and can see through it because normally we get shots and see this whole side here is blocked. Okay, that's not that's what they don't want you to see, which would be the idea that if I had it figured out a minute ago here, this is another shot behind the sun. Okay, now you look at the flare pattern of what the sun is like. Okay, and then we go back over to here to... Uh, Okay, back here to what they gave us at Soho to be able to look at the sun. Now, this is a view from Earth. So you flip this around because this object is left that they're blocking here in the one that I get that basically will show us everything, and they're blocking. Okay, so the idea you're seeing the other side that they let you see, which is this side over here to the left on this shot, but you got to flip this around. Okay? i.e. okay so the idea that they've got it flipped and the idea that these are interacting and giving you some interesting figures over here because the idea that because when you're looking at the sun from this earth shot okay the positioning of Soho on this one is supposed to be whether you're looking at the earth your objects i.e. in line with the sun would be that to the right, okay, when you're looking at the calendar because you'd be looking, you'd be in North America looking down south here and the idea you'll see that on the right hand side there and everything like that and then the idea that it'll turn around when you look at the sun from the back side, okay. So the idea that you have all this triangulation and action up here on the back side of the sun that we can see again, I'll blow that up, but the idea that they are flipping the shot, i.e., I'll show you the date, and you know from looking at the shots before that the arm is over, the, over there that they put for the covering it up. Why do they cover up the sun? When the idea that we know the raw shots you get right here that you get to see everything, that's something that NASA will have to explain to us over time. So they don't want us to see this on that side. So the idea we go and we'll see what they're showing us and wanting us to see on that side. 
basically unflip from this is from the back side so you reverse it and looking on the front side it'd be over here on the left and that matches and they've got it upside down i.e. the cluster there okay i.e. that cluster I just showed you is over here you see so and also you have the flare to match up by looking at the idea that it's flaring out the top on the back side and on the bottom over here okay when you flip it around front to back it's always going to be top to front okay So, i.e., flaring out the bottom. See? So they've got this shot upside down today. Oh, just a poops. Boop, poops. A mistake from Soho. Because they're hiding this here from you. They don't want you to see that and possibly some of this stuff here. Okay? And we do know that basically that is our... Venus and Mercury. Okay? So, let's take a look at this left side that they actually ended up screwing up and seeing us, let us see on the Soho blue shot from today. Okay, the dates match up, okay? So, I'm going to zoom into a 1,000. Remember, we got what we have there and the today's date, okay? So, I'm not going to try to, you know, I won't be pulling any deals and trying to, and we already know that the idea they flipped it around and the idea that we can see the side that they're not wanting us to see here, Okay? So let's see what they're not wanting us to see is a bunch of this stuff here and there, and especially this here. Okay, so let's blow it up. Okay, I got to center it when the screen's shooting. So basically, you know that the sun's there, and you can see the the arm that they impose all the time that's there. Okay, and that should be in the left hand corner because they got this picture upside down. So the idea that more than likely that we have exactly what we figure there of Venus, and I believe it is Mercury, yes. Okay, now we go back to the shot. They have this upside down, and there is more, more than likely is our action, our, that is our baby planet, folks. And there is the face again, okay? You can see the face image. You see that that you get? We get it on the flop. We get the face image, and you can all see the ten also see the tentacles, okay? So the idea that when they were showing you this today, which if you could get to it or not, is the idea that they are covering up the idea of not letting you see what they screwed up and let us see it on the Soho shot. So there it is. There is the baby planet. There is lots of different holograms that you get out of that, okay? There it is to the left. Plus whatever else you end up seeing with these triangulations here. Also triangulations there, okay? And also, since that is the right side, and they are showing you here on the Soho, because they let this bleed through, check out this very interesting part of that. So we would look above or below on the constellations, because we would be on Earth looking at this shot here, so you flip it around, okay? So this is what is below. It's the, one of the M. Is it Mercury or you know it's Mercury? I'm pretty sure. Okay. So the idea that that is Venus there. So coming down. The idea that this is going to be that constellation down there when we look at the constellation map, because we flipped that around and that should be this stuff down here. Okay. Up by the sun. So the you also have this stuff which would be on the other side, which the side they are showing us, so you sh these triangulation of this constellation here should be showing up. Plus also we should have Saturn over there to that side. So the idea that when Saturn has gotten close to this, is that the big object that we're seeing over there on that side? Because the idea we would flip and it's going to be on this side because we know that they have this upside down because of the flare action. But the idea that that more than likely should be pretty much you can tell that that should be that on the other side okay so basically flopping real fast going to the shot more than likely this is Saturn in our constellation over there okay either Saturn there and then the constellation star or whatever and then the idea we go back and forth So 
IE, I go and flip C2, okay? We've got latest image of C2, and there basically it is. There is our baby blue, okay? Because it's a, it matches to R from Earth shot that they flipped upside down. That is exactly what we will show you when I flip the page and go here to show you C2 because they've got it upside down. Which on C2, that is it up here, folks. That is all that material there. Those dots are these dots here. Okay? That's the same thing. Okay? Reversed and flipped the way it's supposed to be because they give you this shot upside down. And on this shot, they didn't want you to see it okay so they are hiding the baby blue kachina or whatever the hell you want to call it okay it's there it's right there right there this is today's Alaska flip this over real fast we've got enough time there it is today 640 UTC remember this is all Zulu time so there it is there and the idea that we have it in the right direction and it's all this big area here. And yes, you have to try to view it on infrared and there you have that there. And we show you that the idea they flipped the picture. And the idea there is Venus and Mercury. And then and there you have the same and that is the baby blue or whatever is in that right field that they don't want you to see off of this shot here. Okay, and the flares match up. The idea of this is behind the sun. Also, is C2 image behind the sun. So when you're looking at behind the sun, C2 here. I'll just minus down real quick. We'll go to 400%. So when you're looking at it behind here, there's your flare to the top. The flaring, it's flaring out the top today, and then you'll flip it around because this is from behind. And there you go. Is that there? And then you go to this shot, is in front, and there would be your right-hand corner, because this is on the front side of the, of the sun, okay, today, okay? And I think you all know that this is the sun here. So I'm sure we're gonna be running out of time, look at the clock, and there you go, the top side of the sun, to the right hand, okay? Because they got this shot upside down from Earth. Maybe repetitive because I just wing these off, but there you go. There it is at three hour difference of 648 UTC to the front side shot. And that should be more than likely Venus and then Mercury at the different angle because a different satellite and it's being shot from behind. And then you've got baby blue Kachina up here in the corner because they flipped the shot. Baby Blue Kachina, the action and everything that he ends up getting down in front of this, in front of Reichel Cantaris B, down at the uh, basically all over Earth because it gets uh, polygrammed down, hologrammed, polygrammed down to Earth. Okay, left side they didn't want you to see. Okay, they blocked out the Kachina up here. They didn't want you to see it on this shot. Okay, but it bleeds through from us on the front side shot. Because you can easily see it right there. Okay, so you just got to keep in mind of the idea that when you're looking at front side, they'll usually on the blue color, when they put the color shade thing over making you think that they have this thing that they can't shoot the sun without this shade thing which is a bunch of BS i.e. my shots right here that show you that they look at Lasco shots with no or they basically electronically take it out to look at what they want to look at okay this is the back side of the sun this is super giant material on the back side of the sun check out all the V action humongous size of the material and objects in space behind what they don't want you to see on the left hand side that we basically have seen on the other one. So let's go to solar image really fast and see what else we can check out. 
So you can see why Brazil is getting the action there, and all of you in North America, and the idea of the axis there, and also the flares. Legal disclosure.